Hello guys and welcome back to the Dark Arson channel. This is the bar report that will conclude the Ramoket and Gavin series. We have Gavin's forces of the Mephrit dynasty and then we have Ramoket and his dynasty? The Sartek dynasty. The Sartek dynasty. And then we also have Dodgy Dave's Dodgy Army where we just picked loads of random units and put it into an army. Uh, Final <laughs> Brothers! Yeah! Three kids so, versus three kids. Yeah, we have an objective here. And an objective there. Uh, and there's an objective right over there. Uh, there's an objective there. Uh, there's an objective there. And uh, there's an objective there. So I'm assuming we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, for objectives. So yeah, uh, we'll go over our army, shall we? Ram cat? Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm not being horrible and running the Decurion. So I've got three destroyers. I've got a Doom Scythe. I'm running the Canop Tech Harvest here. So with six scarabs and everything else as you see it. And Spider on his own. <clears throat> uh, the Nightbringer. I'm running, of course. He has to be in it. My name is Ramaget. What stuff does he have? He has a Nightmare Shroud. Give him two plus. He's got a War Scythe, Phylactery, and a Phil Shifter. His little buddy here, who I have yet to unname. Yet to unname? Yet to name. Maybe he's he should be called the Unnamed. Yeah, ooh, yes. The Unnamed Unnamed, content. Unnamed. Leave it in the comments for what you should call him. Anything goes. So he has the Chronometron and nothing else, he doesn't have uh, just a not normal combat weapon. Ten warriors as you see, Ghost Arc, another ten warriors in there. And in reserve I have some Death Marks and, which is coming back to the channel, it's been a while since he's been on, the Tomb Stalker. <laughs> so he's a bit of a beast and he's going to be mm, probably Deep Striking. Okay, so that is the Sartek Dynasty. And now I've got mine, the Mephirit Dynasty, otherwise known as Little Britain. Uh, so we have obviously Gavin here. He has uh, the Orb Relic. I think it's the Orb of the Eternal. Orb of Eternity. Yeah, Orb of Eternity, there we go. A War Scythe and a Fear Shift as well. And this guy's brand new of ten as it goes there. Got ourselves our Spider with a claw fabricator rigs had five points spare so what the devil eh? Six scarab swarms, two barges with ten warriors in each and then we've got a knight scythe as well. We do have a formation just like Stu, he's brought a formation, I brought My name is Jeff. Yes, there's Jeff. And then there's Simon. Uh, two cryptex there. In the conflict of the burning one with the transcendent hit hand. They both have Conomatrons, they both have Mind Shackle Scarabs because I had points spare. And one of them has the God Shackle, we'll say Jeff, my name is Jeff, has the God Shackle. Which means this guy's going to be plus one toughness and plus one strength. My Warlord trait was plus one or minus one to my Steel Initiative and Reserve rolls. And Stu, what was your Warlord trait? Mine was Relentless and... Um, uh, yeah. Crusader and Relentless within 12 inch bubble. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. We will go over Dodgy Dave's Dodgy Army and we'll let you know on a Dodgy Dave Dodgy rule that's with Dodgy Dave's Dodgy Army. Oh. Okay, so this is Dodgy Dave's Dodgy Army. Um, I picked that when me and Stu picked out what we uh, gave him and where he's picked upgrades. So we got a, a whirlwind here. We've got a five mana salt squad with a sanguinary priest. What have they got, Harry? Metal gun, flamer. Yeah. Veteran sergeant. Veteran sergeant. They've got five skitari rangers. Yep, transonic archibus and uh, omni specs. Yep. 
And then we've got some five mandrakes and Lilith. We do. Lilith with a beautiful model by who? Ragingheroes.com. Yeah, go there and get them. Really nice model. We've got a Morkanaut with all of its goodies. Uh, it's got Grot Riggers and Custom Mega Force Field, whatever it's called. You know that. I have no clue. And then clue there's on. a Command Squad inside that is WYSIWYG. It's got plasma and loads of other stuff. So, yeah. Well, well, hang on, there's a plasma gun, a plasma pistol, the chapter. The company banner. The company banner. A blood uh, champion. And yeah. A, and a vicious, which is basically a second priest. Bunch of stuff. Yeah. And then over here we've got um, three mega knobs. They're just twinning shooters and power claws. Yeah. We then got the Imperial Knight Crusader. It has uh, the little strength area P3 rockets on top. Storm Spear. Uh, with the Storm Spear rockets, so he knows more than me. He's got his little melter cannon. Thermal cannon. And his Gatling cannon. And then we've got over here two Castellax and. A Dominus. A Dominus. Have they got anything, Harry? Well, I wanted to give them enhanced target grows, but you said that's another point. Yeah. So they've got nothing. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Okay. And then we've got a rhino here. With Razorback! Razorback here, with a five lich card inside with war scythes, and then an overlord with, I think, a war scythe, a phase I'll... shifter, and Flat res orb, or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. He's got stuff. He's got stuff. Uh, we've got a rhino there. Was there anything in the rhino? No, because nothing was oh. in it. And then we've got Fluffy here, who's been taken over by Dodgy Dave. Dodgy Dave has stolen him from us and we're going to take him back. We've got three Blood Crushers and then we've got this Crushed uh, Lord man. Juggalord. Dodgy Juggalord, yes. What does the Dodgy Juggalord have? Sigil of Corruption, uh, God Drinker, Plasma Pistol, Lightning Claw. And then we have three Breaches here and a Dominus. Are the Breaches got Ark or have they got Torsion Cannons? They have Ark. Oh they man. Arc. In reserve, we do have two Venoms, uh, I'm assuming with their cannons on. Yep. Uh, and then... Two, two five Man Assault Squad! Two five Man Assault Squads in them. With two Melters each. With two Melters each. And then we've got the Dark Artisan in, which something has happened to the Dark Artisan, which we'll go over after I go over Dodgy Dave in his barge with his Storm Shield, his Artificer Armor, his Power Sword and his Plasma Pistol. His Wall of Chip was Preferred Enemy and he, he got a second one since we had two, which was Eternal Warrior. Now, we did come up with a rule called the Dodgy Rule because Dodgy Dave has fitted out everyone with dodgy equipment. So we roll before the game. If anything rolled a 1, it would get a rule called Gets Dodgy. Now, only one thing rolled a 1, which was the Dark Artisan. How ironic! <laughs> the Dark Artisan gets the Gets Dodgy Rule, which means that on a 1, well, he gets Gets Hot, but it's called Gets Dodgy. And um, if he rolls a 6 on it, the unit gains Skyfire for that turn. And then... Um, <coughs> They also, whenever they move, they count as going through uh, difficult terrain, so... We also roll, f roll for that on every turn. Yeah, on every turn we roll for it. It goes up each turn. goes up two plus every two turn plus. because his dodgy equipment cannot last. The dodgy, dodgy, dodgy equipment that dodgy, dodgy Dave has given to everyone is becoming dodgy. It's spooky! It's spooky! Spooky and dodgy! Spooky! Oh, it's fucking dodgy, aren't it? <laughs> spooky! 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 I've got no head! I'm for the record, spooky. for the record, I have spooky. no idea what's going on. I'm just drinking Peridot and moving their models. Spooky! 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 Dodgy! Dodgy! <laughs> okay, so we've decided that each objective, which are six of them, are going to be two victory points at the end of the game. Linebreaker, Warlord Kill, and First Blood are also going to be active. However, if Fluffy's alive, Dodgy Dave gets one point, and we see it as a mercy to kill him because he's too corrupt now with all the chaos he's eaten and Dodgy Eldar Dave dodging him yeah. and, and Eldar cheese in him, and it's just it's just a, a lesser of two evils just to kill him and put him down. So we'll get a point if we kill him. But Dodgy Dave gets a point if he's alive at the end of the game. So there's an extra extra thing in there. Now we do have a 5 plus steel initiative because of my wallet threat. So let's cheese. do it. Ramoket. It's like Eldar cheese. Ramoket and Gavin. No! Oh yeah! We did it. Necrons have turn one in Dodgy Dave's garage. Ooh. We'll come back with movement of Necrons turn one. Okay, after the movement phase, uh, we've got some movement of these guys up. <coughs> this guy's moved in uh, just enough range to get to the knight. This katana's moved up here, not in range to do anything. This guy has taken a wound from spawning a scarab. 
Uh, this barge has moved up here in range of the Gorkonaut. These guys have just moved up and so has this guy. Um, the Catan has also moved up there, managed to get 600 meters of cover. This spider's come running over here, he's going to try and join these. That spider the, is uh, has given them the reanimation protocols and has spawned a spider without wounding himself. Yep. And then these guys have moved up as well. So that's all of our movements. Going on to the psychic phase. Three dice to do nothing with, go down the shooting phase. Okay, so the destroyers went in range, they ran. So did the scarabs and so did the wraiths, just getting closer. Uh, because that assault range was really, like, long. So we didn't want to risk it by getting overwatching us. These have got reanimation. Oh yeah, they've got reanimation as well. The other dude didn't run, so he ran up behind this guy to get in range. Uh, this guy put a large, managed to get Antimatter Meteor, which is the large blast, strength 8 AP3. It could only reach the front castle axe. It got a double six scatter, so it went eight inches backwards, almost clipping, clipping Dodgy Dave and almost clipping the knight, but did nothing at all. And then uh, the, these guys just moved. This fired everything into the night and did nothing, and Harry is... The Dark Artisan, sponsored by Pernod Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> so the, it, it seems as if the gores from this gores arc did nothing, whereas the combined gores from the uh, each wave of ten, which was the dudes inside and the side from these two, managed to get two glances on each and have managed to wreck the Morkonaut, giving us first blood. As did these they guys, even get to use it? I don't even know what it does. Yeah, didn't even get to use it. <laughs> Neither do we. Oh. <laughs> it's magnetized, don't we? Oh, um, and the <coughs> command score did not get pinned coming out of there, so that was all fine. If anyone wonders who the orcs are, they're actually allies, but nobody's ever seen them. Yep, so then uh, these guys, uh, only three were in range, right at the sky, passed both the cover saves. This guy was not in range at all, so he just did nothing. I didn't want to run him forward because the knight's right there as well. So, yeah, that's generally it. We've got one point for uh, first blood. We're holding this objective. Um, and no other objective we are holding, but we are uh, going hard on this flank. And uh, we are slowly marching up to do some death. So we'll come back at a uh, movement phase of Dodgy Dave's Dodgy Army. Movement phase, there's been some switcheroo over here. The corner moved up to face the Necrons in combat. The Breachers and Dominus have moved up there with the Dimakara moving alongside them. This Rhino acting as support pop and smoke for this one with the war size in. So that's gonna be some interest in trying to pop that. This flank looks to be very, very wavy, but hopefully uh, we can hold. Uh, the Castax have pulled up here, looking to probably do some shots on the Nightbringer. The knight has done some wobbly 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 dobbly stuff. He's done some dodgy stuff and he's moved up on there to uh, uh, get a better vantage point it looks like. Uh, dodgy Dave has moved down here behind the mega knobs which are uh, moving solidly up the center again some really good protection from that cover. The command squad I don't know you can see are literally right behind uh, so they're hiding ready to pounce next turn. The mandrakes have moved up alongside Lilith. And then we've got some Skatari right there, staying put with a Transatlantic Arquebus as well. And then we've got some sneaking whirlwind action coming around here, along with the Assault Marines and the Sangre Plane. Look like they're going to flank! So, no psychic phase for Harry, but we are going to go on a shooting phase. Okay, so fire from the whirlwind has reduced, did two wounds to the Scarabs. The uh, Imperial Knight with his uh, blasts 
uh, managed to do uh, kill two bases, and uh, it, it tried to glance this vehicle by uh, targeting the scarab so he couldn't jink, did nothing. The three shots on the Storm Spear rocket pod uh, did, didn't even hit. Um, the Stubber did a wound to this unit, and then he fired all of his Gatling Cannon into the Scarab, I mean, Spider, and killed it. So that's him dead. Everybody else ran over here. They uh, got two wounds from their Galvar Grand Frills, and I filled my saves and my animation, so they died. And then the Transonic Archibus uh, got, got um, killed, one of the mortals, and I filmed my animation as well. So I know how this game's going to go. Uh, there was a wound put on to the Nightbringer from uh, the Castellax. And then other shooting um, over here, Plaza Pistol and killed the base. Um, and then these guys did one wound. Where's the panel? the destroyers, and that was it. Where's the panel? So um, you were going to talk over this recording? Yes. Which is. It's panel time. Which is. Which is. Dodgy. Dodgy Dave moved up. Uh, the, uh, these guys ran. Uh, a hefty six inches, so that, that worked. Plasma pistol killed a single scarab. Yeah, I mentioned that. Um, so yeah, that's all the shooting. Um, so do you want to do some... Salts. It's uh, not any all the shots. Well, you said there was all the shooting. What else have you got? Did that last there? cannon shoot? Yeah, uh -huh. you fired that last cannon. Okay. Um, yeah, it did, yeah. It went into this spider. Which passed his So it passed his animation. I've got... Um, and that was it, wasn't it? Two charges um, to make. Two charges. Where's yep. the charges? Uh, these guys won't charge the scarabs. No, the scarabs are being charged. <laughs> well, let's see how far they would charge. They got a three. three. Slow, slow. Come on. Yeah. Uh, Fluffy, Fluffy's going to charge the, the wraiths. The wraiths are being charged by Fluffy. Fluffy gets a hefty eight yes. inches. Do, just just wait, doesn't she? I uh, do not know. I've never used the Timicar in my left. So it is it anyway, it's a seven inch charge. It's seven inch charge, so the Timicar is in. And uh, we'll come back after the results. Fluffy, you're pretty fat for, uh, for Fluffy. Okay, then we'll come back after combat phase. Okay, so the blood crushers reduced the scarabs from six man down to one man. The hammer rat did do a wound in our one man as well, so he got reduced to two wounds. And then he attacked the Juggalord back and did um, nothing, and then the Juggalord finished him off. Um, Consolidate. And consolidation. Five inches. Five inches. Then um, the Demacaran slaughtered two of them with instant death. Um, the Wraith uh, retaliated and did nothing. And then the Spymo attack hit, wounded, but I passed this invul. So that's a tight combat right there. So, which was seemingly better for Harry or just a dodgy Dave because we can't attack Fluffy then. So, going on to Necrons, turn two. Looks as if the uh, two spiders have backed up, uh, along with the destroyers, a uh, little shuffle, ready to uh, fire at uh, the corn. The Nightbringer's moved up, hopefully again range should do his leisure bomb on uh, them guys. The Death Marks try the deep strike right there. Leadership bomb! I never knew there was an orc in the room. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Death Marks, scout over there. One uh, failed his dangerous, dangerous terrain test, but passed his armor save. These warriors, Rhinos moved up, uh, up a bit. Six hopefully, get some well. six inch racing cover as well, and hopefully, um, they can do some damage onto the Castlax. Uh, this guy moved along, gonna look like he's gonna put some shots into the night. Scar's moved off to get, uh, gonna get a cheeky little charge off on the night, or maybe Dodgy Dave. Da, 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 da. Um, then we have uh, the Conclave of the Burnham one. This guy's moved up, hopefully he's in range of him to do some damage as well. This barge uh, stayed put, um, so he could fire at this knight, 24 inches he's in range, so that'll be fine. These immortals moved along over here, just to hold down the objective, and this ghost dark moved over here, because those blood angels are coming, and uh, we would like to stop them. Both flyers came on, and both position to look at Dodgy Dave. If my fire destroys Dodgy Dave's barge, then this Doom is gonna hit the Mega Nobs, which are right. Because right, uh, it's AP1 blast. And of course, when the flyers come on, we always need to have this. Yeah, when the flyers come on, we have this. For anyone who loves this song, please check out my fan rock and roll. You do awesome rock and roll real quick. Do you have feel the need for speed? I feel the need for speed. 
Okay, so this ghost arc unloaded into these assault marines. So it's got the Flamer, Meltdown, and Sangry Priest left. They did pass their saves, so they are standing there. Which is gonna be really scary for this ghost arc. These guys fight again with those Katari and Nick, and they come and like, no tomorrow. Over here, um, we pumped everything from the two flies into Dodgy Dave, and Dodgy Dave only took one wound, so that's that. This fired into the knight and only managed to take a whole point off it. Um, and this guy got a D shot on him and took two whole points off it, and then this took another whole point off it, leaving it down to two whole points remaining. Luckily, hopefully, these scarabs could finish him off. Death Marks did two wounds to the Castlisks, leaving them on one. This guy rolled the ten. Uh, did three wounds, mate, they got four. Cast Locks have four wounds, so you oh, okay. three wounds. Okay, yeah, yeah. So three wounds done to them, and now two. Um, this guy got the 10 shots of strand 6 into the side armor of the knight and didn't even glance. And then his leadership, he got exact leadership of them, so it didn't do anything there. These guys fired into the Catholics and did nothing. Uh, these guys fired into the corn and only managed to do a wound on the lord. And then that guy, who's coming from Alphaland right there, fired into the cult mech and did nothing as well. So that was that. Not much happened except that the knight is pretty damaged. I have one word to say. And he has one word to say. Charge! It's my version of a walk. Okay. Okay. I am scared. So, uh, my charges, I've only got one, which is the scabs into the knight. You kind of overwatch because you're super heavy. So, let's see what the roll is. I kind of have a certain formation. Which, which I don't, don't have! So, nine inches, scabs are definitely in. Uh, and there are no other charges that I'm aware of. There's so. not just assault moves for the destroyers. Just assault moves for the destroyers. So what did you roll? And you got a one and a two, which has been very much uh, what has been happening to these guys. So should we do this on film? See if Fluffy kills this. See uh, if Fluffy kills this wraith, which most likely so she will. Five attacks, base plus one for two close combat weapons. I'm going to use the one that's uh, on a four plus to wound has instant death. She's weapon skill eight, so she misses three times. And there is. She's strength seven, so two normal wounds, Stu, and one instant death scale. So the two normal seven. wounds? One normal failed. Stu. Reanimation. Failed the animation, down to one, and then the instant death. It passed the passes. Passed. So then you get three attacks back, hitting them on fours. You hit no time. So tight combat because we No, 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 no. Oh, he just have a grasping thingy majig, which, which rolls a one, so a tired combat. Um, so we'll come back after what the see after we see what the scouts have done. The knight is gone. Uh, took three guys here, did one wound on them, but they passed it, and there's only one scout left for one wound. So that was it at the end of turn two. Harry's got his reserves. If you want to roll for them, what have I got? Two identical venoms with two identical submarines in are both on, and then the dark arts and. Dark Artisan's on as well. So we'll come back after Harry's turn two movement. These corn guys have moved up closely to try and uh, take on the destroyers in combat. Hopefully Overwatch serves them well. The Rhino and Ray's back have moved around here as the War Sires are going out to charge this and Nightbringer. Uh, Castlex has moved up as well, so it looks like a whole big mess is gonna go on here. Um, Dark Artisan came in, they have a web whip hole so they don't scatter, so this is going to be some tasty, tasty stuff right here. Dodgy Dave and the Mega Knobs have moved up this aisle to take on this barge, but double six rolled on the scatter, but both, on both of them, but both were direct hits, so both landed perfectly and have double metals in them, which is not going to be fun at all. Uh, Command Squad's moved up here, uh, don't know what they're going to be doing, but the Whirlwind moving around and the Mandrix and Lilith coming out here. And then what's left? Oh, the something's coming here. Look like they're gonna pop the ghost arc. And Harry is Patrick from SpongeBob. My birthday is Patrick's day, so it's allowed. Look. <laughs> he also has an extra testicle. In the dick. In the dick. In the dick. That doesn't work. In the dick. Next to In the dick. Extra testicle. In the dick. Extra testicle that retracts when he's frightened. It's like a fireman hose when he takes it out. Come on, shoot, man! It's like a fireman hose when he takes it out. Defense mechanism. It's like rolls it out. He's two inch trout fish. Some call it these one inch warrior. We're gonna use better diction than the omniscience to reroll once again. 
and I hit three times with no ones. I won twice on that. What's the toughest strength try you got? Six. I rolled uh, five and six to work. I know, five and six to work. Three up. Or what's the weapons? Hmm? Hey why? Strength six hit before. There. Fine. Suck it! Run. Suck it, Dick! Uh, he does not have an in. Oh, he's got reanimation. No, he doesn't have reanimation. I don't think he's had Eradication rate is 76 AP3, isn't it, Phil? Yeah. Uh, 24 it. inches. Oh. If it's close, it's weaker. Any idea? No, I think it's a salt shot, actually. I think it's like better, but I've, you have to check. Because I've got no idea. Rules for this guy. War construct. Team shot is a huge, massive. Da 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 da. Attacks the wind. Ha! Strength in AP one is shorter range. On a flat D six score without rest. Stew. Uh, you. you can only wound on a six. Why? Because of war construct rule. The Tombstalker is a huge, massive, shifting pseudo metal with little vulnerability except to the mass use of force. Attacks that wound on a flat D6 score without reference to their target's toughness only wound the Tombstalker as taught there on a 6 as opposed to a 4 plus 2 plus etc. Exactly, that's like poisoning the, stuff. The case for the attack. So, because, so basically, I, I use the strength and toughness of the guns. Without what? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Of course it does, makes perfect sense. So any any to wound roll of a specific amount, such as poison four plus, poison two plus. Oh, right, right. I'm, I'm only wounds it on a six. I'm Otherwise you strength and tough. So the melters from these assault marines fired into this ghost arc. They got one pen, but I passed the jinx save, but this is jinking. These guys, there's a loads of runes on them, but I put my orb of eternity in the shooting phase. Um, and I passed all my saves and no one died this turn. Uh, the plasma guns, uh, Mandrakes fired into them along with the whirlwind and the Skitari. So there was a lot of firepower going into them, but nothing happened. Uh, these two both fired their melters into the ghost arc. One hit out of four shots. One hit out of four shots, and it didn't do anything at all. I rolled a three to well, pen. Rolled a three to pen, which is only army 11, which with quantum shield and still up, it means nothing. The ghost cannon from Dodgy Gear's barge did nothing as well, but they did force it to jink. The poison shots and the venoms went in at this guy and I took a wound on him. Uh, other shooting, these guys flamed. They managed to kill three warriors in total. Uh, they had pistols and heat lances as well, but only three guys died. Um, all the shooting from the bolters and uh, the Razorback and Rhino fired into this guy and only took him down to two wounds now. Um, and then the plasma pistol here managed to kill one, uh, the last wound on that guy. Over there, what happened? The uh, stalker took a wound, yeah? It did to the eradication array from the Dominus. Yep, so it took one wound, um, so he's left on four, and now we're on to some charges, I believe? We are. So which charges are they gonna be where? These guys are gonna charge the uh, thing. Charge the stalker, so you've got some overwatch there. So you've got some, you got four shots. You grab the fire flare. Off the tail. And he's got one hit. And will that wound? It does Ooh. wound. Three up. And that's a three up on the past. Charge distance. They charge. We're nine whopping inches. three and a six. That's a nine charge they're in. Other charges? I'm assuming there's some overwatch. Castlax at them. Yep, no overwatch because it's contained. Castlax are in. going to be in. And then I'm assuming the Warsife dudes are in as well. Indeed. Yep, so they'll be going in. That seems like a, a, a 200 charge, so that'll be fine. Yep, rolling it, so they're fine there in as well. So that Katana is gonna die, but he's gonna do some real nasty damage. I'm assuming over here the Mega Nobs and Dodgy Dave are gonna charge this barge. Dodgy Dave will go first. Dodgy Dave will go first. So, you've got 20 shots from the guys inside. Yeah, boy. 20 shots. Charge distance for Dodgy Dave anyway. Yeah, Dodgy Dave has made right. it in with the charge distance. I'll do these three rolls. So he's got 10 shots here. Uh, one hit, one is cocked. That is, he's cocked there. Eh? Oh, and he's dropped off the table. Wee -hee. Oh, he got it. So there's two so far. And then the reroll for the XR with fire shots. And he gets no more. So just two. Harry, are you going to take it on the barge or on 
It's just uh, gauze, isn't it? Just gauze. Barge. You take it on the barge. So sixes. No wounds at all. Dave's in. Dave's in. Mega norms. That looks Seven like a inch. very, very big charge. Seven of inches. Seven inches. And the rain within the 11. No. Can't stop, won't stop the mega norms with the power claws. They'll be doing the most damage there. I'm assuming the mandrakes are going to be charging um, Gavin. You know what? Yes. Okay. So I have seven guys there. Would you like to roll out with five for me? So seven dice. Uh, so 14 shots in total. Multi colors. Open the announcement. It's a really gross announcement. One dice falls off. And we get not a single sausage on that Overwatch. Um, that's not in. That's that a is three. a three inch charge that is fleet. Filled. They do have fleet though. As a tennis charge, they are definitely in. So that's all the charges will come back after the result. Oh, that is it. So, um, so far, uh, this barge has blown up. Six guys are left from the explosion. The Meganovs did get wounded, but, uh, well, didn't get wounded, but were hit. Um, we haven't done this one yet, but uh, the corn have destroyed the destroyers. <laughs> what a pun. <laughs> Over there, uh, it was two rune, uh, a wound done on the Dominus and two wounds done on the uh, Stalker from the Strength 10. Hydraulic claws. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna do over here. Mandrakes did nothing to um, the moles, and moles did nothing to the mandrakes. So we're gonna have this epic Lilith versus Gavin. So Lilith goes first. She has five attacks, plus one for charge, plus one for two weapons. She gets to reroll hits and wounds in a charge. I'm scared. She's weapon skill nine. Okay, I took us five. Uh, strength Forks and Furious Charge. That is two wounds. Ready roll. Two wounds. Evie? You know how armor saves. Why? Her special rule is you know how armor saves. Oh, well, she's mean. Yeah, which is why she's the only person that can reliably take down Jane Zar. Invuls. And then reanimation. I take one wound. So my attack's back, I hit twice, and then he's a strength 7 AP too. One wound. Three up or I'm dead. Ooh. Up, up, up. I'm dead. Oh! He's, he's, a super he's a super grun! Oh, what the fuck just happened? Minge hits, that's what happened. Okay, so the consolidation here. Uh, with the Mandrakes running away, we didn't overrun them. Yeah, because my neck runs, like we were going to do that. So we now hold this objective. Them guys hold that objective. No one holds that one. Unless the Scarabs are within. Which I have no idea. So I'll check. Three inches. Yep. Scarabs are in. Scarab pulled that one. Uh, this one ended in a bloody mess. This one, Tan died. Did two wounds to this guy though. Exploded and did no wounds to anyone. But they got that one and they've consolidated on the that objective. And over here they killed them. So, and uh, and uh, the wraith died there. So they got that objective of two. So we both have two objectives, which makes us at four points each. We have first blood, making it five points. But they have line breaker, making it five five. We also have line breaker though, on the stalker, making it six five at the moment. However, we do have to call it here because of time restraints. However, something happened, and dodgy Dave had a plan all along. Dodgy Dave's dodgy weather storm machine has interacted. That is the dodgy which is weather machine. Right here has activated, causing fogs mm. everywhere, which were these green fluffs all over the place, causing disorientation, and he's led all of our armies into a trap. So next time we'll have another one. It will be full as well. Uh it really just mess about too much for this one. But it will be full, the next one, and it will be disorientation from the weather machine and what is left of all these armies. Will Gavin, after his heroic feat, finally, after being killed like 20 times, and Ramoket be alive to live to tell the tale and to get Fluffy back? Well, probably not, but we'll find out. Thank you for watching. Please watch other videos and like and comment. Uh, we had so much fun filming Ramoket and Gavin, so much fun. Um, and if you like it so much, if you liked it, 
please let us know um, as we uh, we might do similar things like it with other stuff as well. If you don't like it, then just watch the regular Battle Reports. Yeah, just watch your regular ones. <laughs> By me! Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, this was just battle. That LR Ultramarine one at Warmer World, that was a really, really good battle. Yeah, that, and the Necron versus Asimil Terran one, yeah, that was really, really good as well. So yeah, um, the, 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 there's also a Tau versus Eldar one coming up. Oh yeah, ooh, 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 with, ooh. with uh, with uh, um, um, yeah, I'm just gonna say it with the Towner. Dun, dun, dun. Stay tuned for that big bad boy. There's also a Tyranid versus a Tyranid game coming up as well. Me and Phil's gonna be filming that on Thursday. Yeah, but it's the return of the scouring. Uh, uh, I also uh, little announcement as well. Um, I will be doing an army overview of my latest army, which is my Tyranid force of my High Fleet. What? All my painted miniatures will make an appearance. Not as a battle report yet, but I will be doing an army overview of them. Yes, so there'll be a lot of content being made, um, especially me. I'm fin finishing my last year of college, so I'm going to have a lot, a lot of time to do some stuff. So. A lot of content coming. Thank you for watching. And I'll we'll see you next time on Ramoket and Garin.